Good afternoon. This is the National Weather Service in Anchorage, Alaska with Wednesday's Alaska Statewide Weather. Weak trough, weakening trough brought some rain to the southern panhandle today with areas of rain extending northwestward along the coastline. A quarter of an inch fell at Cake today, or half an inch fell at Cake while Ketchikan had a quarter of an inch of precipitation. Another trough brought some light snow to south central Alaska on up into the Tanana Valley. Anchorage picked up an inch of snow today while one to two inches fell anywhere from uh, Healy to Nanana and into the Fairbanks area. Otherwise it was dry over the western and northern interior and the frontal system brought 50 mile per hour wind gusts to Unmak Island with areas of rain as much as a half inch falling at Falls Pass and about a third of an inch at St. George Island. And yet another trough was uh, bringing <clears throat> gusty winds, rain and snow to the far western Aleutians. For tonight, that trough will swing in toward Adak late and increase the chance of rain and snow. Otherwise, look for some clearing for the eastern Aleutians. There'll be some snow showers or rain and snow showers mixed from the Pribilofs down to the Alaska Peninsula. Periods of light snow will continue with uh, winter weather advisories out for the Tanana area to the Yukon Flats for anywhere from one, two, or three to six inches of snow with lighter amounts down toward south central Alaska. Look for periods of rain and snow tonight and on Thursday for, southeast, for the southeast coast. And areas of light snow will persist but become lighter in the afternoon across the Kenai Peninsula and northern Cook Inlet, Prince William Sound area into the mid and upper Tanana Valley and 40 mile country. Snow will move on to the southwest coast as a weakening front approaches from the west and low pressure will keep it unsettled with uh, rain and snow showers over much of the Bering Sea and the Aleutians. That pattern will continue into Friday as several lows uh, move into the southern Bering Sea and a weaker one up near St. Matthew Island. This will spin a band of light snow into the southwest interior and the weak trough will keep a chance of snow showers becoming scattered from the uh, upper Tanah Valley in toward the Prince William Sound area and a system moving toward the Queen Charlotte's will produce rain and snow over the southern panhandle with dry conditions to the north. With Alaska Statewide Weather, I'm David Percy.